Bonsoir. Buenas tardes. Masa al khair. Good evening. Welcome to our sixth annual World Language Ceremony. Unfortunately, my last because I'm retiring at the end of the month. <laughs> my name is Burka Mu. I teach Arabic, French, and Spanish. I'm here tonight with my colleagues, Mariel Mail, Cynthia Montanez, Sarah Moyer, Catherine Rash, and Melanie Thomas. Tonight, we're here to celebrate multiple groups who are accomplished language learners. These students are committed to bettering their own skills related to language and culture, and thereby preparing themselves to contribute respectfully and confidently to an ever-changing global community. In addition to the participation of all of our high school world language teachers, here to help and support our, our, our Cosgrove teachers, Jan Mangold, Sherry Hall, Becca Sartori, and Brandon Sarton, who started many of these students out on their world language journey. As you can see, we will proceed in al alphabetical order, starting with French Honor Society, followed by Hispanic Honor Society, and then the Steel of Bilateral students, and then recognition of all seniors. At this time, I will start with Catherine Rash, who is the Société Honoraire de France advisor. Bonsoir et bienvenue à tous à la cérémonie d'initiation de la Société Honoraire de France au Lycée Spencerport. Good evening and welcome to the initiation ceremony for the National French Honor Society at Spencerport High School. My name is Catherine Rush and I am one of the French teachers here and the sponsor of the Spencerport chapter of the Société Honoraire de France. It is my pleasure to welcome these students into membership tonight and I look forward to working with them in the future. The Société Honoraire de France was established in 1949 by the American Association of Teachers of French to stimulate interest in the study of French, to promote high standards of scholarship, to reward scholastic achievements, to create enthusiasm for and an understanding of Francophone cultures, and to promote international friendship. The Spencerport chapter of the Société Honoraire de France was founded in 2005. To be selected for membership, students must be in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade and have completed at least the first semester of French II. They must have an average of at least 90% in French during the semester of selection, as well as an average cumulative grade of at least 90% during their most recent two semesters of French. These students must also commit to participating in French IV. I am very proud to initiate tonight the 19th class of the Société Honoraire de France at Spencerport High School. Now we will conduct the initiation ceremony. After a brief introduction, each student will be called to the front. As their name is called, they will come to the front, sign the membership book, and receive their certificate and pin. Then they will light a candle and stand behind the table. After all candles are lit, the current members will say the society motto, avoir une autre langue et posséder une deuxième âme. New members will repeat the society motto and blow out their candles. I now invite all current members of the Spencerport chapter of the Société Honoraire de France to come to the stage. So all current members, please come to the stage. New inductees should line up on the ramp.
The transmission or handing on of the torch is a ceremony which used to take place in ancient Greece. For the solemn occasion, the citizens lined up at equal distances one from the other, forming a sort of chain. The first one in light line lighted the torch at the altar, ran to transmit it to a second. Who transmitted it to a third, thus from hand to hand, each citizen ran without a backward glance, keeping alive the flame which he was handed to another. Plato recognized in this running with a torch the image of succeeding generations of life. We transmit to you the torch of our enthusiasm and our motto, avoir un autre lang, se possede un duxiam am. La course du flambeau est une cérémonie qui avait lieu à Athènes dans la Grèce antique. Pour cette solennité, des citoyens s'esprit formant une sorte de chaîne. Le premier allumé un flambeau à l'hôtel Couré le tra transmetta à une seconde. Qui le transmette à un troisième et ainsi de main en main, chaque citoyen couré sans regarder en arrière, préservant la flamme qu'il allait remettre à une autre. Platon a reconnu dans cette course de flambeau l'image des générations de la vie. Liam Bishoping. Rachel Cauldron. Jackson Frisa. Warren Hart. Elijah O'Brien. Tyler Petnado. Delaney Pettit. Riley West. We who have dedicated ourselves to the study of French congratulate you and encourage you to continue in your own pursuit of language. Félicitations à tous les nouveaux membres et à leurs familles. Congratulations to the new members and their families. Sarah Moyer will proceed with the Hispanic Honor Society induction and ask Hispanic Honor Society inductees, I should ask the Hispanic Honor Society inductees to make their way to the front.
Bienvenidos a todos. Gracias por su presencia en esta celebración. The Spanish Honor Society was founded by the American Association of Teachers of Spanish and Portuguese in 1953 for the students of North American secondary schools. The name of our chapter is La Casa Azul, named for the museum and home of Frida Kahlo, a Mexican artist whose work intrigues many of our students. Our motto is Todas a Una, which means all together for one goal. Our colors are red and gold. Our insignia and seal are those of the Mother Association. Tonight, we are here to recognize this prestigious group of students who have shown and proven a deep interest in the beautiful Spanish language and Hispanic culture. These students have not only academically met the requirements of maintaining a 90% or higher for all of their high school Spanish courses, and completed an application sharing their personal statement as to why they want to be a member, but they have also committed to continuing their education in the course as they move forward in their studies. Marielle Mail will introduce our inductees who will proceed to the stage. We will take this time to identify our candidates who will take their place on the stage. Please come forward as your name is stated so that our friends and family can recognize your achievements. Um, because we have a lot of candidates, I'm gonna ask you if you can please hold your applauses until the end. Okay, we are going to begin with Amelia Adams, Joy Allen, Melina Arnold, Leah Bavon, Eilina Chariot, Declan Clays, Brianna Cowley, Jaden DeSessa, Zayari Evans, Ariana Ferrara, Botul Gasly, Juan Green Jordan, Molly Guzik, Avery Hook, Jamie Keens, Dominic Kessler, Sophia Kickendell, Natalie Lawbacher, Alina Mansfield, Sydney Mara, Molly McKinney, Kendall Mesh, Madeline Mortimer, Samantha Osborne, Taylor Page, Crystal Perez, Hannah Prince, Isabella Ranieri, Madeline Rapp, Ashley Rees, Chase Rosapela, Peyton Schneider, Mariana Silvestro, Andrew Stocker, Mackenzie Stocker, Hunter Streb, Jamie Sullivan, Olivia Tommaso, Darby West, Joshua Winter, and Mackenzie Wood. As we continue with the oath, the students will be making their commitment in Spanish. 
I'll translate it for you in advance. The translation of their promise is, as a member of the chapter La Casa Azul, I promise to dedicate myself to the study of the Spanish language with the goal of mastering it one day, remembering that a language can be a strong tie between people of different origins, race, or religion. As a citizen of my country, I promise to promote the friendship and understanding between my country and the other countries of the world. It's my promise and my oath. So now, students, I'm going to ask that you repeat the oath of the society phrase by phrase after me. Como miembro del capítulo La Casa Azul, prometo dedicarme al estudio de la lengua española con el fin de dominarla algún día. Recordando que una lengua puede ser un lazo fuerte entre personas de distintos orígenes, de raza o religión, Como ciudadano de mi patria, prometo promover la amistad y el entendimiento entre ella y los otros países del mundo. Esta es mi promesa y mi juramento. Friends, by the authority granted to me by the Hispanic Honor Society, I declare you members of the chapter La Casa Azul. The traditional lighting of the candles is a symbolic event to support our oath. One of our officers, Megan Doan, as well as three of our senior Honor Society members, Andrew Wiebold, Sarah Adams, and Brian Streb, will proceed with this part of the ceremony. This candle represents our oath and promise to the Hispanic Honor Society. This candle represents the goal of the society. We promise to devote ourselves in our study of the Spanish language. This candle represents cultural connections. We promise to study the Spanish language to help connect and connect with different cultures, including different races and religions. This candle represents being a global citizen. We promise to promote friendship and understanding amongst different lands of the world. As members of the chapter La Casa Azul, we share the national motto, which I will say, and I'm going to ask all our new members to join me on the second time. The motto is, todos a una. Can you guys say that? With some more enthusiasm, maybe? Todos a una. Muy bien. Okay, our um, Hispanic Honor Society students will now exit the stage uh, to the right, and we ask any seal of biliteracy recipients to make their way to the ramp, and Melanie Thomas will proceed with the seal of biliteracy recognition.
think I'm, I think our sixth annual and then my last. We have, <laughs> I think that was appropriate. <laughs> In today's global community, competence is more than one language. Competence in more than one language is an essential part of communication and cultural understanding. Knowing another language not only provides individuals with the ability to express thoughts and ideas for their own purpose, but also gives them access to perspectives and knowledge that they are only available through the language and the culture. We're here this evening to honor 49 students for having the ability to communicate in more than one language. Our languages represented this year are Arabic, French, Italian, Russian, Spanish, Ukrainian. I'm sorry, and Vietnamese. These students are prepared to enter this ever-changing global community that keeps becoming smaller and smaller as technology brings us closer. These students are bringing forth abilities that future employers want and need because they have language and cultural perspective to offer. In order to receive the seal, they have all provided evidence to demonstrate their ability to read, to write, to speak, and to listen in two languages. And all have given a presentation in their world language in front of multiple evaluators who then interviewed them. It was a pleasure to watch their presentations that showcased their skills in a language other than English. At this point, I'd like to introduce our seal of biliteracy students. Their advisors will hand out their certificates and their medallions. Joseph Abdo <coughs> is receiving two medallions. Through his language studies of French and Arabic, Joseph has de developed a unique perspective on the world, which he hopes to use to make a positive impact in his future endeavors. Joseph Abdo. Sarah Adams. Sarah has studied Spanish in seventh grade and she is a member of the Hispanic Honor Society. She has enjoyed learning the language and hopes it will benefit her in her future career. Sarah Adams. <laughs> Dobby Amen. Dobby has studied Spanish for six years. He hopes to use this newfound skill set where he is employed in the city and works with a significantly Spanish speaking population. Dobby Amen. Michaela Amico. Michaela has studied Spanish since, Co since Cosgrove. She began taking an interest in learning Spanish because her mother spoke it to her, read her books in Spanish, and showed her classic Disney movies in Spanish. Michaela Amico. <laughs> Mackenzie Barkley. Mackenzie has taken Spanish since eighth grade at Cosgrove. She's a member of Hispanic Honor Society and she plans to use her Spanish education in college where she will be studying early childhood education. Mackenzie Barkley. <laughs> Hassan Bodla. Hassan has studied Spanish since middle school. He has fully enjoyed his time learning the Spanish language throughout the middle school and high school. Hassan Bodla. Isabella Buono. Isabella has studied Spanish since Cosgrove and she is an active member of the Spanish Honor Society. She would like to thank all of her amazing Spanish teachers who helped her get her to this point. Isabella Buono. <laughs> Sydney Button. Sydney has always loved the French language and culture and she started studying it in seventh grade. Now she continues to take French classes and is a member of the French Honor Society, and she has fulfilled her dream of visiting France one day. She has a love for all languages, and she will continue to learn French during college. Sydney Button. <laughs> Sydney Collier. Sydney has spent seven years studying Spanish throughout her middle school and high school experience. She is part of the Hispanic Honor Society, and she loves speaking the language outside of class for fun. She hopes to one day travel to Spain and learn more about their culture. Sydney Collier. <laughs> Sydney Collier. 
Devin Cruz. Devin has been taking Spanish since Kazgrove, and he has worked his hardest to get to where he is now. He hopes to visit other countries of Spanish descent in the future to go further in his knowledge on the culture and the language as a whole. Devin Cruz. <laughs> Kiara Lise Diaz. Kiara Lise is from Puerto, Puerto Rico. She was born and raised there. She moved to the U.S. after Hurricane Maria. She loves the music, food, and culture of her island. It is fun being bilingual because she has to speak to both people, to people both in English and Spanish. And she likes that she can help people in need when they both when they need one or other language. Kiara Lise Diaz. <laughs> Daisy Famer. Daisy has taken Spanish since seventh grade, and she plans on using what she has learned when she travels in her future. Daisy Famer. <laughs> Madison Fleck. Madison has been practicing the language Spanish since seventh grade. She is proud of what she has accomplished when learning the language and culture of Latin American and Hispanic people, and she will continue to practice and learn it at St. John Fisher University. Madison Fleck. Morgan Gormel. Morgan has studied Spanish also since seventh grade, and she hopes to use Spanish in her future career and travels. Morgan Gormel. <laughs> Clara Hager. Clara has studied Spanish since Kazarov, and she has continued to enjoy the culture that surrounds the language. She plans to continue her studies in college and to use the knowledge to travel abroad. Clara Hager. Marguerite Trutsko. Marguerite's first language was Russian and she learned English in school. She hopes to keep up her fluency in Russian in hopes of helping people by translating for them. Marguerite Trutsko. <laughs> Camden Keys. Camden has taken French since middle school. He is a member of French Honor Society and he hopes to continue taking French classes in college. Camden Keys. Sylvester Kirchhoff. Sylvester has had a great experience in, in Spanish class every year, and he also participates in Hispanic Honor Society. Sylvester Kirchhoff. <laughs> Ian Leip. Known in class as Senor Huesos. Ian has wanted to learn a second language since middle school. He plans to use this valuable skill to further his present and his future goals. Ian Leip. Xavier LePage. Xavier is receiving his seal of biliteracy in French. Xavier LePage. <laughs> Matthew Lindsay. Matthew has studied Spanish in seventh grade. The unique culture and language has intrigued him since that point. He wants to continue speaking Spanish in college. Matthew Lindsay. <laughs> Jaden List. Jaden has studied Spanish since he was a student at Cosgrove, and he is a member of Hispanic Honor Society. He hopes his Spanish abilities will able him will able him to help him with a professional capacity in his future. Jaden List. <laughs> Kaylee Mansfield. Kaylee has studied Spanish in seventh grade, and she is a member of Hispanic Honor Society. She hopes to study Spanish in college, and she hopes to study abroad in a Spanish-speaking country. Kaylee Mansfields. <laughs> Jacob Marciano. Jacob has always been interested in learning new languages. Jacob grew up in an Italian and English speaking household before he started studying Spanish in seventh grade. He is a, he is a part of the he was a part of the Hispanic Honor Society and he looks to continue to learn more Spanish after high school. Jacob Marciano. Adria Mesha. Adria has studied Spanish since seventh grade and she is a member of Hispanic Honor Society. She has also enjoyed learning about the different cultural aspects and hopes to visit Spain one day. Adria Mesha. <laughs> Rylan McLeod. Rylan has studied Spanish since Cosgrove. He is a member of the Hispanic Honor Society and he hopes to continue his understanding of Spanish in the future. His dream is to pursue a job in physical therapy, and he hopes to use his Spanish knowledge in that field. Rylan McLeod.
<laughs> I'm sorry, Ryan. Uh, Ryan, I spelled it wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> Vladislav Majitsky. Vlad is very proud to be receiving this recognition, and he hopes to use his language, his language skills in a future career. Vlad Majitsky. Chin Nguyen. Chin has been practicing Taekwondo Kung Fu Martial um, in Vietnam since 2017, followed by her brother who got a chance to face the World Taekwondo Federation when he was just 10 years old. Throughout her youth, she succeeded with a total of four golds, four silvers, and three bronze medals. And for keeping her skill and her strength, she's continued practicing at Master Kim, Ta Kim Taekwondo Institute. And she hopes her dream will will help her succeed in law and criminal justice during college and university. Chin Nguyen. <laughs> Chuk Nguyen, also known as Naomi. She loves to explore new things that she has never seen before. She loves Korean and Vietnamese foods, and she loves to learn new languages. It is very interesting to her. Chuk Nguyen. Gretel Nurnberger. Gretel has studied Spanish since seventh grade, and she is a member of the Hispanic Honor Society. She hopes to continue studying Spanish in college. Gretel Nurnberger. <laughs> Angel Nunez. Angel is receiving his seal by the letter C in Spanish. Angel Nunez. <laughs> Ayana Prima Sherman. Ayana has studied French since Cosgrove. She is thankful for being introduced to French music by her French teachers over the years. She would like to thank Mrs. Hall, Mrs. Rush, and Mr. Mu for being her French teachers. Ayana Prima Sherman. <laughs> Kiara Prima Sherman. Kiara has studied French since Cosgrove. Kiara likes to learn about the language, the culture, and the music of France. Kiara greatly appreciates Mrs. Hall, Mrs. Rush, and Mr. Moo for helping her through her French journey from Cosgrove to Spenceport High School. Kiara Prima Sherman. <laughs> Nicholas Rasapela. Nick has studied Spanish since Cosgrove, and he hopes to continue using what he has learned into the future. He will be attending Alfred State College next year for electrical. Nick Rasapela. Emma Schleyer. Emma has studied Spanish since middle school and she is currently part of Hispanic Honor Society. She plans to attend RIT with a major in business and hopes to use her Spanish in the future. Emma Schleyer. <laughs> Sydney Schleicher. Sydney has taken Spanish since seventh grade and she has been a member of Hispanic Honor Society for two years. She wants to travel and study abroad in college and she hopes to use her Spanish in the future. She would like to thank her teachers for helping her over the years. Sydney Schleicher. <laughs> Timothy Sirluca. Tim moved to the US from Italy about two years ago. He is very proud of the progress he has made acclimating to a new culture and language in such a short time. Timothy Sirluca. <laughs> Ahmed Shaibi. Ahmed's first language is Arabic. He enjoys to practice his language skills whenever he can in order to keep them sharp. Ahmed Shaibi. <laughs> Brian Streb. Brian has studied Spanish since Cosgrove, and his favorite thing about Spanish is the food and the music. He hopes to use Spanish in his goals of becoming a U.S. Marshal. Brian Streb. <laughs> Angelina Ta. Angelina has studied French in seventh grade and has continued it throughout her high school career. She is a member of French Honor Society and hopes to use her experience in the future. Angelina Ta. Catherine Totes. Katie has studied Spanish since middle school. She's traveled to Spain with a language club and is also a member of the Hispanic Honor Society. She hopes to continue the study of Spanish in college and to travel back to Spain. Catherine Totes. <laughs> Cruz Varga. 
Cruz is grateful for the opportunity to learn Spanish throughout high school as he has used it to be able to communicate more with his relatives in Mexico. He hopes to continue his education in the language in college and study abroad in a Spanish-speaking country. Cruz Varga. <laughs> Gabriela Vega. Gabriela has studied Spanish in seventh grade and she has also been a member of the Hispanic Honor Society since her junior year. She plans on majoring in nursing and hopefully learn more Spanish along the way in college and from her family. She would also like to give a special thank you to her teachers, Mrs. Moyer and Mrs. Thomas, for being the best teachers and helping her along the way. Gabriela Vega. <laughs> Riley Weber. Riley has studied Spanish for over six years and is a member of Spanish Hispanic Honor Society. She plans to continue learning, college, learning in college and to use her knowledge to study abroad. Riley Weber. <laughs> Gabriella White. Gabriella has studied Spanish in seventh grade and she is an active member of Hispanic Honor Society. She hopes to visit Latin America in the future and even study Spanish in college. Gabriella White. <laughs> Andrew Weibald. Andrew has been in Spanish ever since seventh grade. He also participates in the Hispanic Honor Society. He has enjoyed Spanish and has been a very enjoyable time in his high school career. Andrew Weibald. <laughs> Alina Yakimov. Alina's parents both moved to America from Ukraine around 30 years ago. She has been surrounded by Ukrainian culture for all of her life, but never took the time to actually learn the Ukrainian language. When presented with the opportunity to do the Seal of Biliteracy in Ukrainian, she took it. She hoped that this would help her to better understand the Ukrainian language and help her get better. She hopes that with this new skill, she can play a small part in the aid for Ukrainian refugees. Alina Yakimov. <laughs> Maverick Yarger. Maverick has studied French since Cosgrove, participates in French Club, and is a member of French Honor Society. Maverick hopes to study abroad in France during college. Maverick Yarger. <laughs> Victoria Zadoyanana. Victoria has studied French in seventh grade in Cosgrove up until 10th grade here at the high school. However, for her seal of biliteracy, she shows Russian in her world language as her world language due to the fact that Russian and Ukrainian are her second languages. Victoria wanted to challenge herself to get better in Russian in order to communicate with her Russian-speaking family more. Victoria Zadoyanana. <laughs> Standing before you is Spencer Port's sixth cohort of students receiving this seal, approved by the New York State Education Department. These 49 students represent 18% of their graduating class. I hope they are an inspiration to you and to future students. They are global citizens who are compassionate and empathetic as they are willing to consider others' perspectives. This is so valuable for our society. We need people willing to foster community understanding between people of all nationalities. Congratulations and best of luck to you as you leave Spencerport and enter the global community that awaits you. Cynthia Montañez will now recognize all of Spencer Port's seniors involved in world languages. Buenas noches. In addition to these bilingual students, we would like to recognize all of the seniors that are graduating with the honor of being either French Honor Society or Hispanic Honor Society. As I call your name, please come and stand in front of the stage. Sydney Button, Riley Feige, Camden Keys, Trevor Pettit, Angelina Ta, Lucas Warner, Maverick Yarger. And now for the Spanish Honor Society. Sarah Adams. Mackenzie Barkley. Lucas Blount. Blount 
Isabelle Bono, Mackenzie Chapman, Sydney Collier, Clara Hager, Sylvester Kirchhoff, Ian Lape, Dylan Lewis, Jaden List, Kaylee Mansfield, Sophia Mara, Adria Maysha, Katie McKee, Rylan McLeod, Cameron Mesh, Gretel Nuremberger, Emma Schley, Schleyer, excuse me, Sydney Schleicher, Brian Streb, Catherine Totes, Kane Ukpabi, Cruz Vargas, Gabriela Vega, Riley Weber, Gabriela White, and Andrew Weibeld. And now, Melanie Thomas, the teacher leader for the World Language Department, will give closing remarks. Our district's participation and commitment to this program affirms that we, Spencerport, value, honor, and celebrate the diversity among the cultures and languages in our community. I'd like to again acknowledge the significant honor to these students. I'd like to thank you, our families, and our friends who have supported and encouraged them in this pursuit of knowledge, skills, and attitudes that will prepare them to contribute respectfully and confidently to an ever-changing global community. As we come to the conclusion of our ceremony, please meet us outside for pictures and refreshments. Thank you for coming this evening. You guys can step down. You guys can step down. <laughs>